got something that might interest you. <laughs> There is no denying that the merchant is one of the most memorable parts of Resident Evil 4. His strange nature, his charismatic voice, and his funny dialogue, which I am sure we have all quoted to death, got a selection of good things on sale, stranger, all make him unforgettable. However, he also happens to be one of the most bizarre and mysterious parts of the game, since we honestly know very little about him. He is the source of a lot of questions and very few answers. In this video I want to talk about one such question, which I came up with recently. So let's dive right in. The question I want to explore is, is there only one merchant, or is there more than one? Now you might be wondering why this question came up. Remember when I said that his dialogue has probably been quoted to death by all of us? Well, I know for a fact that I have and still do. One of his lines, specifically from the remake, suddenly led me down a rabbit hole of questions. The line of dialogue I am talking about is this. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Why does he say us and not me? Why the need to make it plural? when he is clearly talking about himself, one person. This is where the conundrum began, and it only got deeper once I realized that this one line of dialogue is not the only time that he refers to himself with plural terms. Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. What's that? How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. We like our herbs, we do. Heal a man, kill a man, they do it all. <laughs> now, at first I simply concluded that he must be like those characters that referred to themselves in the third person, meaning that perhaps he just talks this way. But then I remembered that he has a bunch of shops or stands or whatever you want to call them all over the game and somehow he is always at each one when you need him. This can obviously be explained away with it's just a game. Of course, such an integral part of the game can be found conveniently located right where you need him. But if you look at it rationally, how does he manage to seemingly be everywhere at once? Does he teleport? Does he have every storefront already set up? And he just books it from one to the other when needed? namely when Leon moves, are there secret passageways that he uses to get around so quickly? The list goes on and on, and some explanations are of course more realistic than others. But the point still stands. How does he do it? Well, there being more than one merchant could explain this. He appears to be everywhere because he is. There are dozens of him, each with his own shop and location. So no matter where you go in the game, there is always a merchant in the area. This also explains why in the original game you can kill him and yet you can still find him in the next shop 
provided of course you are not playing uh, on professional. Now yes, maybe he simply responds like nothing happened. Or maybe you did kill him, one of him. The others are still alive and well, just waiting to do business. Of course, even if we ignore the theory of multiple merchants, it still makes sense that he responds, since they would not want you to screw yourself over by not having a merchant for the rest of the game. Again, unless you are playing on professional, which is all about screwing you over. They allow you to kill him despite this to make the game more realistic, I guess, in a way that is not detrimental to the experience. Since they can just have him respawn without explanation. It is a game after all. Though it's funny that he still does business with you even after you shoot him. Again, this can just be attributed to the developers not wanting to rob the player of a key feature. However, if there are multiple merchants, it makes sense that the next one does not remember what you did to the previous one. Also, it is worth mentioning that you cannot kill him in the remake. Not sure why though, since he would surely respawn. Maybe they just wanted to spare the merchant from being mistreated. Which is understandable. I know I felt bad for ignoring him for an entire playthrough on my way to the Platinum Trophy. Multiple Merchants also explains how in the original game, you see him outside the firing range and then, when you open the door to enter the firing range, there he is again. Now of course, maybe he entered the room while we loaded in. Or, there is another door. Meaning, it could easily be the same one merchant. Another door means it's a short distance. It's not like him going from shop to shop. But still, it's bizarre and easily explained if there is more than one of him. Now I know that I said that multiple merchants explains why he forgives you, if you will, for killing him. But then how come he clearly remembers Leon every time they meet? And he keeps track of Leon's progress with the blue medallions, requests, etc and how they all speak the same way, with the same voice and the same dialogue. They all also have basically the same inventory which keeps track of what Leon buys. Well, maybe the merchant is a non-corporeal entity, with multiple bodies he can possess or embody. So one mind, several beings. He simply moves his consciousness from body to body, meaning that every merchant is essentially the same person. I guess that he forgives you for killing him because, well, man's got a business to run. He needs them pesetas and Leon is pretty much his only customer. There's also Ada, of course, but Leon is a bigger client. You know for sure the other ganado are definitely not buying anything. Alternatively, maybe they are part of a union, meaning that all the merchants have a tight network where they exchange information, goods, etc. And that their likeness in other areas can be attributed to a Nurse Joy slash Officer Jenny situation. So that's the theory, why I think it's possible and what made me come up with it. Now can I prove it? Well no, of course not. Is it a bit of a stretch? Perhaps. 
But is it a fun and plausible theory that could explain at least some of the mysteries surrounding an extremely enigmatic character? Yes, yes it is. As always, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, please do drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Resident Evil. Additionally, down in the description, I have affiliate links for GameStop, which is where I buy all my gaming-related stuff, affiliate links for Amazon, which is where I buy all my stuff that is not gaming-related or groceries, and a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page. These links will all allow you to support me directly if you would like to. I would very much appreciate it. Also, I have a link to my main channel where I cover Pokemon. If this is something that would interest you, then please check said channel out. Thank you so very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video. <laughs> Thank you.